Hi, just coming to you. Um, we just are finishing up teaching <laughs> during COVID. So on March 12th, school ended for us and we, well, not really ended. They sent us home <laughs> and we started teaching from home. So we taught um, using the computers and I'm not great at computers, but through this time I learned a lot of different things. I learned how to use some different apps and things so I could help teach. So teaching in a motor home is kind of stressful. <laughs> Two people teaching. I teach six-year-olds, so I'm a little more animated, a little loud. And um, Earl teaches 11-year-olds. Did I say I teach six-year-olds? He teaches 11-year-olds, yeah. Um, and so he's more quiet. <laughs> so there was a few times I had to like go teach somewhere else so that he could hear. <laughs> so that made it a little challenging in our tiny home. Um, we did some different activities where we had to leave one time we went and gave out computers to kids, so that was kind of fun. We had to see a lot of families, and another time we left, we went to um, hand out their things they left at school. So they had their papers and their supplies, so we gave those out one time. We also had a time where we went and um, did a parade. So our my school did a parade, and, and, and our school did a parade. So there will be a little bit of that on the video. And Earl's class got to do a graduation for their kids <laughs> through the cars. So we kind of show that in the video. Uh, it's been a very trying time, but I want to say that, you know, we were at least able to see our kids through the video, through Zoom meetings. I hope I never have to Zoom again, but you never know with times like this. So we'll see. Um, so this video isn't a very long video, but I just wanted to let you know that it was kind of like, just show you what it's like to teach. <laughs> <laughs> during a crisis situation um, and I want you to look forward to our next videos coming up we have some videos of our travels we're getting ready to travel across the country to see our kids so be looking um, forward to those videos and we're gonna do a tour of our RV so we haven't quite got around to doing that yet so thanks for coming and I hope you find your adventure So we're um, working, you know, during this pandemic of the coronavirus at home. We're teaching from home, and it's been kind of challenging. Um, we've done a few things. We put our name. You can't see it because it's so sunny out, which is a good thing. But it says Maynard at the top. I show from a different angle. But anyway, our son-in-law is also helping us get a road out to our spot. So we're on the land, um, and that's Earl out there mowing, weed whacking, you know. <laughs> and then our log houses that we used to own, that my kids now own, is over there. So we are um, on the way of making a road out here. And so the road will lead up to our property so we can drive our RV up along it. So 
that we can get back and forth. And I'll kind of do a little video of that so you can kind of see what we've been doing during this pandemic. Um, I hope you're all doing well as well. Getting ready to go on our parade for Pinewood Elementary. We miss our kids, so we're all lining up, decorating. So we're all excited. <laughs> They're all lined up around here. Let's go. <laughs> Goes around the loop. Here we are out on uh, Lake Goodwin on a nice, beautiful, sunny day, uh, trying out our new kayaks. And we're out here on Lake Goodwin, and uh, we'll see a whole lot of people out here just having a fun, having a blast after being locked up in the house for quite a while. So it's nice to get out here and absorb some sun and enjoy ourselves. Uh, we just got done uh, kayaking out here on Lake Goodwin. Um, definitely a workout. It's been a long time <laughs> yeah. since I've been in a kayak or a canoe or whatever. Yeah. But it was definitely a lot of fun. Very relaxing and nice. Um, nice, wonderful, warm day here in it's Washington. It's like almost 80, isn't it? Yeah, it's, in, it's supposed to go into the 80s today. It's nice. <laughs> so it's going to be awesome. But yeah, here I'll give you a few shots of what it looks like here where we actually launched our ca uh, kayaks from. Thoughts 
hearts are too big Can I get some comfort please I guess I should have been honest A break to my heart It's raining down baby Fixing to get ready to have our parade for our students through the neighborhood did a pine with my wife's school a couple weeks ago. Now we're getting ready for ours. I know you don't want to face it. You think it's too late. But I can see past the rain. Won't you lay it on me? Turn the page and burn it. Let's make a our lighters and throw our problems in the flame throw our problems in the flame we fell down to the bottom so bottom up please one of those interesting days today where we both have a zoom meeting I am getting ready to start mine, and Mr. Wright is starting his right now. So, it's called Double Zoom Day at the Wright RV. <laughs> Out in the open, I'm picking up speed. No bad thoughts penetrate. Hold me like this is the first time. Our destiny calls, not leaving this incomplete. Hi, we're here today collecting the items for school. The parents are coming to get their stuff they left behind. So it's alphabetized. And I'm just here because I want to see my kids one more time. It's been really hard not to see them and say hi to them, except for on the computer through Zoom. So I'm here. I'm a little hot because I just ran and said hi to one of my kids. But I just wanted to show you um, one more feature of COVID and what we're doing and how we're teaching. So this is just a piece of that puzzle. So we have lots of workers here helping hand out the kids some things. They're in bags. We have gloves and masks to try to keep everything good. In the flame. Throw our problems in the flame. Are too big. Can I get some comfort, please? 